don't care the man you live with you. It's very easy to, to, to start to work. And all that starts when the bee is pregnant. In that moment, you start to train with your dogs. For be a show dogs. You know? Because the puppy can kill the change in the mother, you know? When the mother is working, when the mother is afraid, the, the, the little puppy can kill that. Uh, it's very uh, okay with the radio, with music, TV, when the mother is pregnant, and prepare the place like a long time before, for she feels comfortable in the place and all that. Something very common for you when you read this thing is when the puppy is born, bring friends to see the puppies. All of the puppies that come somebody to the beach never saw it. To look at the puppies and she won't protect the puppies because no one knows it. In, in that moment, I solve the problems for the puppies. You need to introduce good and normal, no rational for, for the dog. Like the more natural as possible. And the puppies start to grow. When the puppies start to grow, the mother introduced to the, to the world. You know? And that's between the fifth to the eighth week. In that moment is when the puppies they start to be mature all the nervous system and recover to all the surprises and all that things. When you're working in that time, it's very easy the puppies recover fast. Okay? So don't you really come and see the puppies for that reason to No, no. I I I I I don't like to say that. The problem is you have to be both this and have a, a week old yeah. or two weeks old. You don't want to come somebody to see the the, 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 the puppies. Also, the people are very emotional, you know, and don't respect the dogs. Come in and speak super loud yeah. and try to grab the, the, the puppies and come close. Everybody, I, I understand it's very difficult to to resist the other pictures. Everybody, want to run and grab the faces and go very close because it's very lovely breed. But that many, many, many monkeys be scared when the people come in that close. It's like, oh my God, it's normal. It's like a, you know, introduce somebody and come in and very, very close they the face. Oh my God, what's wrong with this guy, no? It's, like, it's the same for the dogs. <laughs> Also, when you teach a dog to put the leash, that's very important because many monkeys, uh, it's like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. In, in home, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Walking the tail, super sure, all the time. But when you put the leash and come to the show, and it's afraid to everything. Don't want the people to touch. And many monkeys like that. It's very easy to take your leash, you know. Is a food, and you start to eat the puppies. You see a piece of food, and the puppy go through to the leash. And you teach. You do it every day. The more, more, more time you, you can do it, it's better for the puppy. And later you call your puppy, you show the leash, and the puppy runs <laughs> okay, I'm ready for that, okay? And <coughs> Don't force the puppy. Put the leash. Put the leash and you walk away. The puppy is there with, with, with the leash. Start to follow you. It's, it's normal for the puppy. Start to follow you. You have a piece of food, toy, whatever. You call, you give, you walk. And the puppy starts to feel <laughs> the, the, the leash in the neck. You know? No, no, no. You don't touch the leash. Oh, leash on the floor. Yeah. Let it go. You put the leash in the, in the head to the dog? Yeah. And let him drag it. Oh, let him drag it. Let him yeah. drag it. And the dog is to follow you. Okay. Little by little, outside, inside, whatever, the dog be known. The dog is just trapped. But the dog be known already the leash. And you have the food that you want. The important thing is you make a link with your dog relation. The dog wanna be with you. 
That's the more important thing. Because when you do that, nothing is more important than the wall for your monkey to do. you. Absolutely. That's right. I follow you like crazy. This is a very lovely breed. I don't really want a monkey. <laughs> really. I grow the dogs in Mexico. And I have many breeds. My, my father's have terriers. And when I start to work, I, I meet other monkeys before, but the fact that I really work very close is not my job. And when you come in your yes. you know, <laughs> it's difficult to, to work. I go every day with this guy, uh, bring to the house, you know, and I cook this guy in the, in the kitchen. And follow me, but it's like a, not very really sure, you know. I remember one day I cooked in the end of the kitchen. Right now, I said, hey, I got you. I mean, I don't even have a better relation. I was such a work with Joe, and when I pay attention, it's too late. I'm in love with the little girl. Really, really, they are the teachers, not dogs, like a little person. Yep, said, that's right. I see you directly to the eye. Think. That's the point to the monkey sometimes when you show it. Think too much. <coughs> if the dog have clear who is the, the leader, follow you. And work very good. Okay? Which is very important when it's a puppy. Introduce right for leash. Follow you, start to work in. And between to the feet, to the end week. Working for the for the emotion for the, for the puppies. In that moment is when they when they come in match of that power to the brain, okay? That's clear. I'm so sorry, my English is not that great, but I, I try. It's awesome. Okay. It's awesome. Thank you. It's the love of the monkeys, Carlos. You got the you got the love for the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> A different exercise for the dogs, for example, you take a bottle and you put some holes and you drop that some is. cables inside. And when you feed the puppies the first time, you shake, you make a lot of noise. Oh. All the food is running, you know. So you put the, 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 the food and walk away, the mother coming, and the puppy is coming because the mother says the same. Come in, smell, start to eat. You do every day. Like in a week, you come in, you shake your bottle, and then the puppy is running like this, you know? Very happy. Later, a couple of weeks later, you come and shake your water, they have holes and keyboards inside, okay? All the puppies come in here, you drop your bottle over there. All the puppies will drop, looking. Come in, start to, to smell, you know. But the smell is familiar because it's food. The food. Start to smell, move, the noise, the puppy is now already, and start to play with the puppy. Yeah? That made your puppy is strong, happy, yeah? Crazy, yeah, crazy monkeys, you know? That's very important. And it's hard to introduce all that. All the important part that we forget. Dogs have uh, not that uh, big a language like the humans, you know. And the humans want to make the dogs human. That's not possible. That's not good. Because if you do it in that way, the dog has confused in the mind. It's like I told you, you are a horse. You know, but you are all like your brothers and you can jump like the other ones and you feel like a very dumb horse, you know. Okay. Yeah. It's the same for the dogs. And also the dogs have a language, but the body language is the more strong the dogs have. And we forget that part. If you teach the dog body language, you speak in the same language. Like now, I do for you guys. Nobody here may be understand Spanish. When I first come, I speak English. And everybody speaks, and for me it's so difficult, you know? 
because everybody come and speak like you understand. <laughs> you know? It's so complicated. The dog is exactly the same. So you need to talk in the same language. Something like everybody come and try to teach a dog to see. Pull the leash and press the back to the dog. You know? If you say sit, and the dog sit. You make like a 20 repetitions and the dog starts to do it, right? What did the dog learn? Pressure. So you the dog learned to see. With... Yeah, but the dog just learned to take off the pressure to the leash. Oh. You know, the tension. It's different when you come in with a toy or with the food and you put in that position. And for the dog feel more comfortable, see, because it's easy to see. In that moment, you say the magic word, see, and pay. The dog understand very fast, you know. When you sure the dog know the exercise, because you do like it for two weeks, and it's clear for the dog know the exercise, okay? In that moment, you come, no food, no toy. And you say, see, the dog think about it because you don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In that moment, you make a correction. One time, just one time. And the dog knows you're talking serious. Yeah? Because everybody wants to put the puppies on the table, your puppy. And you say, no, no, say, and pull the, the, the puppy. And the puppy looks, no, no, stay, stay, stay. And let's do this all the time. That's not good. I teach the exercise. When I'm sure the dog knows the exercise, in that moment I make the correction. It's the difference between correction and reprimand. The correction is positive and it's for building something. The reprimand is just punish the dog. With no reason. The dog knows learn anything in that way. Okay? When you teach with the body language of the dog, the dog is walking with the leash and all that. If you teach like a clock, four points, you walk in with your dog, you say, stay, come. This leg, your hand, and your voice, come. Okay? You come into the second point, you say, stay, come. Stay, come, very short, five minutes, twice a day, and it's a jump dog. Don't care that the puppy play, there's no reason. don't worry about that, you know. A week of ten, ten lessons, okay, ten days. Mm -hmm. The next thing, you come in and do, but you stay longer. Same, a week. The other week, you come and stay, but you use this leg and you go behind there, you go. You don't stay there, you say stay, 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 stay. When you come into the original position, you walk again, come. You come in, stay, 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 okay? Say a week later, you come. Same exercise, but you say you stay, and now I go to the front. Stay, 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 stay. same thing. Okay? In that way, you teach your dog to read your body language. And sometimes in the ring, you don't need to speak with your dog, because your dog. Read yourself already. It's a connection. Okay? If you see a video with that guy showing Banana Joe, many times this, you know, in the ring, it's a second sometimes. You see sometimes running with the dog, make a stay, the dog stay there, you know? But the dog knows the exercise. For that, the, the, the dog do it like that. Okay? Other, other thing, 
positive. When you walk around the, the, your dog, your dog stay, your dog learn to the judge or the people walk around your dog. Okay? Normal, you go down and back, coming, you talk with, with your dog, you stand your dog there, and the judge walk around. Many dogs don't like that. And that way you teach your dog already to somebody walk. Okay? Many dogs don't like the table. Same thing you walk in with your dog. When you come in here, you pick up your dog. You drop a piece of food here. Then you know, you put your dog, you dog walk. Finish to it, and take another one, couple of steps. Okay. Fix the legs. When the mind is busy, it doesn't give you a chance to touch the body. You know? <coughs> to teach your dog in that way. Later when the dog's coming, give a piece of food. But that way is possible all the time. Positive, positive, positive. You want the dog to have a good time in the ring. Because the crazy ones that want to show the dogs is the humans. Right? right. And everybody has a big ego for that showing dogs. But very important, we need to think in the dogs. How the dog think, how the dog feel. And in that way, it's a even relationship. That's the more important. Don't care you win or lose in the ring. You always pick up your dog and head and feet. Your dog all the time needs to feel a winner. Don't care if you don't win. You pay for one opinion. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, you know? <laughs> but you pay for that. You pay for one opinion and the judge maybe like, maybe, maybe not. But you have a good time, or maybe not a good time, <laughs> but it's not the dog fault. All the time the dog needs to feel yeah, good and it's with you. you know? That's a very, very important part. Okay? Have a question? Okay. Mine, I circulate a lot, and they're fine. It's because they get about four or five months old, and then all of a sudden, what can you do about that? Say it again. They, they, they get real happy until they're about, not afraid of anything, until mm -hmm. so they get about five months old. And then, ooh, you know. They go through a scare period. They go through a scare period. Teenager. Teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the question? What is the point? Why is afraid about what? Sometimes it's a noise. Sometimes it's a smell. You know, something that to the people normally never give a chance to the dog is the smell. You put it in the, in the table sometimes, put it to the crate, to the table, grooming and run to the ring. You need to give a chance, they go outside to the extent, like a little bee, you know, and come back and in that moment you, you groom. That's important. And um, it's afraid to the people. You need to try to, the people feed and pet, right. but in the, the right way, you know, like you have your dog at the table and you explain the people that are supposed to help you what do you want the people to do. You put your dog at the table and the people come and not go directly. Get to the side and you, know, you say in the table. You give a chance the dog uses the brain and the nose. The dog comes in and starts to smell you. You know? And later, when the dog's a little relaxed, you can feed a little, and later you can pet. If I come in it that way, it's a confrontation to the dog. The dog don't feel good in that way. If you come in that way, you give a chance the dog to know who you are. And that starts to, to feel better with the, with the people. Okay, the same. When the dog's in the ring, you don't, don't feel very good with the leash. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes uh, inside the, the, the your house, 
the dog, you see the tail very good, the ears and feel good, you know, great. But when you go outside, don't feel that good and don't like the leash. And I start to feel like anytime you put the leash, it's something negative, something the dog don't like. You need to start to put the leash for the dogs, for the things the dog really like, you know? Like in the morning, you take out, put the leash, and give a chance that dog will use with the leash. So to feel good, but you have the leash and do things in the house when you're done. And that way the dogs start to feel like a routine, the leash, and start to feel better with the leash in home. And you start to change outside, it's better. Other thing to help sometimes, when you put in the car, the dog don't like too much. Keep in the car, go a couple blocks, come back and walk outside to the, 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 the universe. That's familiar for your dog outside the, 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 the your house, you know. You start to feel a little, little better. And little by little you start to be, move the dog far, far, far. You go to the park, you go to other place and start to feel more comfortable to the least.